Hi there, this is Nellie Deutsch on MoodleForTeachers.com, a website where I show you how to develop the site as the administrator. So I'm on Guru or um, eGuru, as uh, they're calling themselves here, with the default logo. And I want to get rid of that. What do I do? I go into the site administration. By the way, I highly recommend this theme. Iguru, which is really, really amazing. So click on site administration. And the reason it's amazing is it's so easy to use, customize to your own needs. And it's completely free. So why not? Why use complicated themes that just make your life difficult when you can use a simple one? And Iguru have been updating their themes for a long time they're always up to date with the latest Moodle version and I think that's really important you don't want to get stuck with a theme that you really love because it never updated the theme for the latest version so you don't want to go there trust me I've been there so I'm talking from experience all right so next I'm going to go into appearance because that's what I'm doing I'm changing the appearance of the site and then under appearance notice there are themes I'm going to go into theme settings if I want to make changes there theme selector I've already selected one so I'm going to go into eGuru so keep that in mind there are many things that you're going to change under theme settings that's for the site in general outside the theme area and then you're going to choose your theme if you want to do theme specific edits on your Moodle site. So here we are. We're going into Eguru or Eguru. Not sure how to pronounce that. All right. So here we are. And then notice the options here. I'm on the general. There's the home page slider with lots of slides. There's the marketing spots that you can get rid of if you don't want to use them because none of them offer links, which is a shame. And there's the footer blocks. So we're going to go into the general. Okay, so let's scroll down and see what's available. And as you can see, you can promote courses. That's up to you and the number of courses. The default is two. Uh, and you can give the title. That's just a template. Notice where it says default. That's whatever they have. <clears throat> and what we want to do is get into that default. This is the blue, the color that I chose. These are the options. We want to get into the default so we can make changes. So let's go into our footer blocks and see what's available here. <clears throat> Under footer blocks, notice there's the default. And all the default is exactly what you see. And you're going to change these. And where do we see them? At the foot. So notice what's available at the foot. There's nonsense over here. This, these uh, don't work. And the contact information is wrong. So I'm going to keep it so I can make changes. But I'm definitely going to make my changes. I'm going to get rid of all of that. You can get rid of it right now, in fact, because all you need to do is simply add a title. So get rid of that so you don't have to see it. Okay, here too, you don't need their default code. Okay, there's uh, your Twitter. You're just going to add the Twitter. You don't need the default. So get rid of all of this. By the way, G Plus is only with um, Google Suit, Education or Enterprise. Pinterest with a footer here too. You're going to get rid of the block. The block um, is the uh, notice here that says contact. You might want to keep that, but you can change it. You can just add contact with what they have for default, which you don't really understand. So let's get rid of all these details here that don't apply to me. Definitely not. Okay, get rid of the email. I can always add that later. And of course, um, the copyright. It's just a uh, the class is text. It's in the center. You might want to keep that copyright. Okay, you might want to change that to 2020. Uh, developed, what I like is developed by. 
and then um, I'm going to simply instead of adding well let me add a link here you can add a link it's up to you okay so I'm gonna add okay my page and then of course um, this is going to be Dr. Nelly Deutsch because that's who I am. Oops, forgot the S. And let's see, powered by. I'm going to get rid of all of this and I'll tell you why. Okay, let's get rid of that. Delete. Okay, I'm going to add it here. So uh, developed. And so you can make the changes. Let's save and see what we have. And then we can continue. So notice uh, we're going to get rid of, well, we got rid of the contact and um, we took out all the links under follow us so we can add our own links. For, so for the time being, there's nothing there. And then we're also going to change these quick links. You can add other ones. You don't have to have frequently asked questions or support contact. It's up to you what you write here. Okay, you just add the title and you do it. And I'm going to show you a little more once it's saved. So let's see what we have now. Okay, so this is what we have. Um, notice um, only Facebook state. So we're going to make changes right now. There's nothing. Let's see how we change this logo and the information about. Okay, so notice here there's the slider. Okay, you can also change all of these default to your own words. Again, you're changing things to suit your needs. Whatever words you want to do, you add them there. So the logo, this is where it goes in. Okay, that's where your logo is going to appear. So let's get a logo. Go into my computer, of course, upload it. There we go. I've got one in mind already, this one. Click on it, choose it, upload this file. I really like this theme. I really like it. It feels good. And that's important. If you as the admin feel comfortable with a the theme, that's great. That's the way it should be. Because if you feel right about it, you'll pass it on. Okay, so don't forget to save it at the end. And then let's see what we see at the bottom. Now, we're still going to see the nonsense. You still have to take care of that. But right now... At least we got rid of, even though I really like Iguro, I still don't think it should appear on my site. So notice what it, it appears down here. The nonsense says it is still there. And it also appears over here. And don't forget, here you're going to have your menu. We'll get the menu uh, done in a second. All right. So now for the nonsense. Now the nonsense... Is default okay so here you can write something else like for example upcoming courses okay, you might want to do that so notice we're under footer blocks that's where we're gonna make the changes and enable footer logo yes and this is the footnote that you will see there okay this is what I've decided to add you can always change that now, notice the block here. You can add whatever you want to appear there. Okay, so if it's uh, follow us, you can add follow us. Notice if you add the default, you'll get whatever they have. So I'm going to call it follow. Okay, follow us. And then notice what I have here, or um, actually, this is not follow us. All right because it says about us and that's not what we want. Okay, so we're gonna change this about us to look like this. I can change that so that it suits me and not whoever added this. So about us, you're gonna get a link for about us and then um, terms of use. I'm not gonna write language. I'm simply gonna write terms. And I think that's important to write terms of use. And I have that for all my Moodle sites. So there, I'm going to delete the link because I don't want it right now. Now, if you're worried, I'm going to forget all this. How do I remember it? You won't have to remember anything because it's all down here in the default. 
all right so you don't need any of this okay frequently asked questions i don't know maybe i'll have it maybe i won't but if i do it's going to be f so it looks the way i want it to look okay so don't forget you just need the bar sorry the bar there and then uh, the last one is contact but i have contact already so i'm going to add it twice so this is not follow us this would be um further information or who are we okay more more about I'll show you what it's going to look like all right next here um is our social network so here follow us definitely follow us and notice i can have facebook and this is how i do it i add the link and then of facebook and then i just add so it's just my link that's all it is so let's add my link to facebook and then my Twitter account. Notice instead of Google Plus, I add YouTube. They're gonna click on it and they'll get YouTube because if they click on Google Plus, it's gonna say that it doesn't exist anymore. So here I'm gonna add my contact and an email. Okay, and notice uh, it tells you how to do that. So I'm just gonna add my email. Okay, that's it. All right, and then of course, save. So you get an idea of what it looks like. Don't forget, we still have to add about as terms of use and so on. So this is what it looks like. So this is a good beginning, more about. I think that's a bit long. Follow us. Contact is fine. I really think, oh, I really think that um, this is too long. I'll change that. And I can just write because I, I don't think that long things are a good way to go. So uh, let's go back to the footer and change that. I also want to show you something else about the marketing. I'm going to get rid of the marketing completely because I don't like it. You might like it, so keep it. I'll show you what you can do or you can just delete it. So here I can write about, just about, or just, that's it, Moodle Manager. Okay, so let me go into the marketing, which is a great idea. Okay, but it's just words without links. I don't really like that. So marketing, click on marketing and notice they've got the default. Here you can enter, it's just an icon. So I don't want this, but if I change my mind, remember it's always there as the default and I can do that, but I don't want this whole area. So I'm just going to delete it, delete everything so it doesn't appear. And that strip, there's the cap. By the way, you can also change the default to whatever icon you'd like that's also a possibility okay and by the way i try to add links i try to fool the system it didn't work so i just gave up okay i don't know why they didn't allow us to add links i think it would be a lot better and more useful but then you can add that in the slider if you've got marketing ideas websites that you'd like to share all right so notice this area is really really empty and that doesn't look good so our footer is pretty good we need to go up there and make some changes over here so this is not within the uh, theme it's elsewhere so let's go back to appearance because that's what we want right now and we're going to go into yes what i told you before remember i said that uh, it's not just appearance but there's something beyond that and we want another area this is not where we want we want this one so make sure that you get this one and right now we're going into appearance and theme settings the settings we're not going into any specific theme this is general settings now you scroll down and notice what you'll see here this is up to you by the way docking i like it and these are your custom menus then notice what's here this is so that you can learn what you can add okay so if i add all of these you'll see what i'll have here but i'm going to make changes with that there it is so if i save that just want to show you what it'll look like you don't want this because it's not yours but there it is 
Okay, it'll appear here and notice that's your menu. All right, so how does the menu work? It's really good. Notice you can also have uh, a menu within a menu. You can play around with it. Notice under this there are four, but you can also make this one, sorry, this one under that one. I don't know if you're familiar with wikis. That's what we used to do with wikis. So, okay, so we've got two of these under that one. Then this one is separated. This one's under that. And this one, I'm going to put it under that one. Okay, how's that? Now you'll see. So you can put one under the other. So like you've got a main category, a main title, and then you have subtitles. So uh, that's what they look like. Let's save it so you can get an idea. It's really nice. So notice what I have here. I have this one, which is by itself. And then I have Moodle Development. Whoops. See, it takes me to where I don't want to go. Somebody else's website. You don't want to do that. So you may want to get everything ready, which is what I did. So let me delete what's here and add what I would like to have. So I'm trying to delete this. There we go. Add. Well, actually, this is what I have on another website. I just copied it and pasted it here. So you can see what it looks like. It's a full menu. You can have a whole row. Okay, so there's more room actually to add more. So I only have one, two, three, four, five because my other site um, doesn't have that much room. And I'm thinking of this one. Okay, so if I go into the main page here, let me just log out so you see what it looks like. Okay, if I go into the main page, notice what's up here. Okay, so uh, let's get back here. And uh, if you'd like to add more, take a look at uh, what's here. Okay, subscribe, and then what's under subscribe, and then uh, notice all these are under subscribe, and then sign up. There are two, how to sign up, free courses. This is the main one, and these are the subs. And then there's about the site, which I think should be at the beginning, but I wrote it later on, and other information. Now, contact, I might want to add the contact yeah, I think I'll add the contact. Notice what I'm going to do here. The contact, I'm going to change it to be on its own. And under contact, yeah, I'll leave it on its And under about the founder, I'm going to have all of these. So maybe I should just write about. Yeah, the about is here, about the site. And then uh, maybe leave the about the founder okay so this is how i do it i just remove this and i'm going to add how it's done okay let me put a line there and then notice you have to put the bar okay it doesn't have to have any space put the bar and then under that there'll be other things no but that's going to be about the founder so i would write maybe uh, leave about the founder and move the contact because I think about the founder goes with about and then um, partner sites I'm going to put separately because I really think that that's not part of it and then I'll put the contact by itself and that's it so let's see what it looks like here since I noticed there's a lot of room. So let's see what it looks like. But you still see the left here. Okay, and that's kind of annoying, but there it is. Okay, so yeah, okay, there's a huge... Now, the reason there is a huge space here, okay, which I don't really like, okay, over here there's a huge space. And the reason is because of the logo, okay? The logo is pretty high. So if you want less space, make the logo smaller. If you have any questions let me know um i believe i've told you everything about changing the theme and adding the menu feel free to subscribe to my channel now and let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to add and i'll be sure to create the video just for you thanks